Hey, what's up guys? So um, I posted something on Twitter, but I was thinking that since not everyone follows me there, uh, I could make a very quick video about it. So basically, uh, I went on a PB yesterday because I wanted to try out some of the new items, but unfortunately, uh, they reverted everything. So the items are not on the PB anymore. But I, I, I took like an entire hour to be looking at some videos of people that tried uh, Shojin. And I've been looking at the stats as well. Uh, I've tried to do some math, and I came to the conclusion to the conclusion that uh, it was not a good item for even um, mainly because first of all the Q and the W are, con are CC's abilities, so you don't you don't get the full cooldown reduction on it. Uh, you only get half of it, uh, so it only reduces the E at its fullest potential, and even then it's not an insane amount of addiction anyway. So um, I feel like this is a big bait and this is something that a lot of people fail for. Uh, but I've been looking at the Hydra and it actually looks like something pretty nice because it allows so many different opportunities. Like for example, since it gives so much AD, it's 65 AD and when you manage to get it stacked at its maximum potential, it's 90 AD, 90 AD and 14% uh, Omnivimp. So this gives you so much potential um, items wise. And I've been talking with it, uh, I mean, I've been talking about it with Eloise, uh, who totally agreed with everything I said. Like he was basically sharing the exact same point. Um, he also said that uh, he always been, he always thought that uh, Shojin was not good and that, um, yeah, we get a lot of opportunities with, with Hydra. Um, the reason why Hydra feels so good uh, next season, it's because, like I said, it's gonna give you so much AD, and you know that when you have a lot of AD, lethality is fucking insane, right? So, um, in, I mean, it's gonna be a tank meta from what, I, from what I've seen, so I don't know how often we're gonna be able to go for Ghost Blade, <coughs> but, um, in games where there, there is not that much armor or where we just want to assassinate the carries that don't have any armor, uh, we can go for Ghost Blade or even... I mean, I don't remember exactly the amount of lethality we get on items like uh, Edge of Night, for example, uh, but I guess we can go for something other than just uh, Ghost Blade. But I will have to see uh, what else we can go for. But yeah, I mean, Edge of Night could be a decent item even though I think Ghostblade is the best. Um, but yeah, so yeah, we, we get the, the lethality option with the amount of AD we get with Hydra. Uh, not only that, but since it's a good item that, uh, I mean, it's an item that's going to be very good into uh, extended fights, since we get a lot of Omnivamp mixed with the Omnivamp we get from God Drinker, uh, we're going to be looking uh, for items that are pretty good in extended fights. So. Items like that are Black Cleaver, Death Dance, and even like GA. GA, the reason why GA is going to be actually good as well, I mean, obviously for the same reason it's been good uh, all those years on Riven, but also because um, if you die and you proc the GA, then you're going to most likely save your, um, your Hydra stacks and not lose them. <coughs> so yeah, that's a good thing to do. Uh, so yeah, what I was thinking is basically you can go for Gore Drinker as a first item. A lot of people asked me why we would not go for Hydra first, uh, but I think it's not um, versatile enough. You only get AD and Omnivamp, and you don't have like the HP you get from Gore Drinker, um, or even, you know, when we go for Black Cleaver first, at least we get a lot of tools. But Hydra is pretty linear, like you get AD, Omnivamp, but you, I mean, obviously you have ability haste, but you don't have too much um, too much tools like HP or resistances, right? Um, so that's why Girl Drinker would be would remain the best. You could still go for Black Cleaver first in some situations, like we do in season twelve. Uh, but I think Girl Drinker is gonna have so much synergy with Hydra that uh, we don't want to skip it anymore. And as second item, obviously, you would go for Black Cleaver if you need the armor shred. But if it's a game in which they don't seem to be building much, much armor and you don't really want the armor shred, like it doesn't feel necessary, uh, then you can go Death Dance. <clears throat> you can go Death Dance. And once you get the Hydra afterwards, imagine how fucking unkillable you're going to be. 
with Gordrinker, Death Dance, and Hydra. You're gonna be sustaining so much in fight, and even the like the damage you take from the dots on the Death Dance are gonna be healed up with all the Omni you have. And even when you go in a side lane, like imagine you lose some HP, you took a trade or you, you just won a fight, 1v1, and you want to keep on pushing, but you don't, you don't have enough HP. At the moment, in season 12, <coughs> in season 12, if you're low HP, you're gonna, you don't, I mean, yeah, you're not gonna heal a lot when you, you go on a wave and farm it up. You have some Omnivamp with the God Drinker, but overall it's kinda slow. But with the Hydra and its stacks, plus the God Drinker, you're gonna have so much Omnivamp that uh, it's almost gonna feel like, uh, for the people who played uh, in the earlier seasons, uh, back then, Death Dance used to have um, Omnivamp in a way. It was not called Omnivamp, but basically you would be healing a lot uh, of the damage you, you would be dealing. So when you went to farm a wave, you would be going back to full HP pretty fast. And I think it's going to be the same again with uh, God Drinker and Hydra, which is why I think Death Dance is going to be uh, pretty good with it. <clears throat> and then as a fourth item, so if you went for God Drinker, Death Dance, <coughs> <coughs> if you went for God Drinker Death Dance, um, as a fourth, you could potentially go for Black Cleaver if you want the armor shred all of a sudden. But if you... You could go Serilda instead of Black Cleaver as fourth item if you want to get the armor, the armor pen pretty fast. Because the good thing about it is that you can just go and... You can get the last Whisper from the Serilda and sit on it for a bit. So you can get the last Whisper, you get some armor pen, and you don't have to spend like 300 gold, I mean uh, 3000 gold uh, to finish the, the item. And you can switch to GA, to Ghostblade, uh, to Mao, or whatever the fuck you want. So I think, yeah, I think this is basically what we're gonna be looking to build. Obviously, like it's written here, uh, this is only a theory uh, because we have to be trying those items on the PB and Riot may be changing a lot of stuff uh, before the preseason pre hits and during the preseason. Uh, so there's going to be potential changes, and I'm not sure if it's going to remain uh, the same the same th theory on the long run. But so far, for like with what we have right now, <coughs> it seems like uh, this is what we're going to be looking to build. And um, yeah, I, I'm not the only one to think that. Like I don't usually when I post something like that, I always try to DM someone uh, that I know has some good knowledge as well. So in this case, this was Eloise, which uh, who totally agreed with all of that because he was thinking the same before I even like uh, went into his DMs. So yeah, this is basically what we think we're going to be looking for in season 13. Um, I'm going to keep you guys updated anyway. Once we get like, it, it, once I, I manage to try those items on the PBE, once it's come, it, it comes back. Uh, since it, yeah, we, it's Wednesday, right? So um, there's a chance that the, the preseason came back on the PBA. I don't know. But yeah, once I get to try those things, once we see all the changes Riot does in the meantime, like in between, uh, I'm gonna be able to come back and make a new video about it. But so far, yeah, this this should be this should be it. All right, peace out.